You are now watching the 2023 season of Farming with Duffy Ag. Welcome back to the channel. Had to go on a rescue mission last night. What were we doing? Yeah? You're ready to go. So we got Robert's car in the driveway, um, but it's non-functioning. Last night on our way home from, uh, last night on our way home from dinner, <laughs> Woo! he lost some lug nuts. Well, he lost the studs. So we're about a mile from home. Car had a wicked vibration. We pulled over and yep. So had to get the white truck on the land all, which it's gotta be on the land all anyways for something we gotta go get. Um, picked him up, brought it back here. So we gotta put a new hub on there. What we gotta do today, um, just hit the calves, a little windy. Yesterday was really, really windy actually. I didn't film anything. Just got some projects done, which is nice. Get the 8820 ready to rock and roll and get the feeder house pulled out because we have rasp bars that should be here in, I don't think tomorrow, but the next day. So we got to get it all pulled out so that we can get inside there. And uh, this will be some learning for for myself. I don't know the weight of any of this. I don't. It will be a lot of learning. So take the chain off, pull everything out. Might have to do some YouTube videoing. And uh, well, YouTube looking up to see exactly what we need to do. But that's where we're at. So yeah, I bought it knowing that it needed rasp bars. And uh, when we get it apart, I'll show you why. And honestly, Shoop, bought them through Shoop because they're quick, um, good quality, quick. And uh, I, I heard the John Deere ones, aftermarket ones are a lot better than the John Deere ones. I don't know much about combines, so that is just what I heard. We do have some upgrades for some lights on it because when you're combining, it seems like we work a lot more at night. And going into late fall, it gets dark way earlier. So that is where we're at. Yep. Jumped over here. Here's my silage truck. But we're gonna take the super liner back because then when they're done chopping, they're filling a silo for an Amish man right now with the wagons. And once that's done, they're coming. Let's see poke, but not from this truck. Um, once that's done, I'm gonna take this over and we got a small job right next to the field. Or the bunk we're gonna chop that um, closer to cobalt skill so it only makes sense that I come here grab this and then go that way alrighty we'll get started mother nature's doing it for us raining uh, we're going trucking either way like I said previously uh, corn silage when you're chopping corn silage a little bit of rain really doesn't do much um, as far as the quality of the feed, but I went in to eat lunch and I was gonna work on this and it is raining um, And I'm actually watching YouTube videos of how to take it apart I guess a little north of us it hammered out some rain, but now it's got blue skies. So now we're in it looks heavier over there um, Yeah, Robert called me when he was on his lunch break and Asking advice on this and I said well if you can get studs get studs and we'll just swap them out but I'm learning. I'm in there educating myself on how to get this apart. Um, I do got a book ordered for it, so hopefully that will give us some educational information. But we got to get all the lines pulled up out of the way um, since this whole feeder house comes forward and comes out. So. I don't know. I don't think we're going to get to it today. We're going to, this will be a tomorrow because we're going to go. Uh, that chain needs to be. It's got some wire to her. So we got to run through some things, get some spare belts, stuff like that for this. Um, granted, as we've said previously, I am a little bit of ways away from actually getting combining but I'm closer than I 
think I am on some ground too. So I know that was a bit of both, but alrighty, because we're gonna have to take this belt off that belt because it runs from there up to here. So these shields got to come off. So hmm. I was hoping to get further on this project, but I know everybody. The advice of everybody um, that doesn't actually farm. Things take some time. And as you see, we got some soybeans. They are growing. End of the day, everybody, there has been quite a few people that said, really got to find a place to put this this winter, or get it inside this winter. I agree. I just do not have a place. And people have said, oh, in there. Hoping the chopper fits in there, actually. Um, so we will see what comes of it. I'd like it to go inside, and eventually I'd like to build a bigger storage or shop. Have this as a project shop or something like that, and have a big open bay where I could fit all the semis in, work on things, since we do do a lot of projects. But I think I got 20 minutes, and then I got to get going over to the next job. But the calves are absolutely loving it. Very happy. Rolling out, so it rained again, which is annoying. We still got to push this over. I think Robert's bringing me some more. So I'd like to widen this part out, specifically this corner, um, because as you see, tire tracks are getting closer and closer to the ditch. It's only a matter of time till somebody puts something through the ditch, but there is a drainage culvert. I think that goes right across. I got to do some digging and figure out exactly. So we might have to do some messing around, but. And France was out trying to get some uh, late season grass and the rain caught up. Uh oh. Dan, why is the mower apart? That's not good. Um, that's never good. So he must be up at the shop where my Kenworth is. Which we gotta finish tearing that down and then probably pull that truck out of the shop while that motor gets redone. Um, if that block's not good, somebody's already sent me a pretty much brand new motor for a little more than what I'm gonna have into doing this so we got some options fun all right Okay, we're building this little pad here. Got some round bales that are like the perimeter. Isaiah is here. This is the second job of his day. They, like I said, they were filling a silo from uh, for an Amishman. Um, yes, 100% Amish too. Um, previously. So. He's gotta get underneath the power lines. And then he can pick his spout up and he should be able to open up blow right in there and we got dale nate johnson's calling me nate i'll give you a call in a second we're, we're doing some video okay so he's gonna fill the cart and then once he gets far enough we better put our window up dale did say watch out there might be bees everywhere once he gets far enough Close it right in the pit. Don't even need a truck here. Look at that. Alrighty, we better back up and go follow him. So today we got the cart and myself. And we're nice, close, easy haul. So, makes a lot of sense. Oh, it's raining and sunny. I love it. I love this weather gonna rain enough to mess our day up. 
So we got that field done. Bill's been packing away over here. Um, we're just gonna run the cart. Me and Aaron. And uh, yeah, Isaiah's actually gotta go vet with his dog. So dogs are priority for us. Right, bud? So we're gonna run the cart. We're chopping right around here. It's sunny and it's raining. I don't get I keep forgetting Yanko's got a bag of treats from uh, the Hope Fleece when we uh, chopped up there. Switched up back in uh, the dump cart, which I'm literally, I drive by the bunk as we go around the field, so it's gonna make some sense having the dump cart drive it over dumping. Um, there is a few slick spots, but nothing too crazy. It is dark toward north. Rain passed to our south. The weatherman was actually right about today that we'd have uh, spotty showers pretty much. Just a couple miles wide, storms come through and then sun back out. So I guess they got it right.
it up. I've got my other one. I Christian grabbed me it the other day. So now I got two headsets. I'm like, need the old one. Yeah, they do come in handy. Hands free, talk for quite a while. All sorts of people talking to Nate Johnson earlier. They're filling silos for somebody I know. And yeah, having all sorts of fun. Trucking he is. Alrighty, we'll keep pushing through here. The Superliner is here, but I'll show you when I pull out of this driveway of the field. I really can't pull up to him. Um, I had it locked in diff and I had to unlock it because I had to turn. The wagon was closed. A little sketchy. So, not a big enough horse to not have sketchy moments. That's the thing. Uh, but in the fields, it's been good. I did get stuck. I had to have Eric give me a tug. It just sank. So it went to the field. Float out of here. I dumped into the Superliner. I pulled up to the right and I was just spinning. Couldn't get any traction to turn or do nothing. I got it. We had to go off the road a little bit to get into it. Um, but coming this way, we're a lot better. But Superliner stuck down in there. We were wondering with the rain if it was just wet enough that we would have a bad time. So hopefully he can hopefully he can send it right up and out. They're doing some drainage ditch work here, which we know all about that. And uh, so there's some piles in the way and stuff like that. All part of it. Always got projects. I think this will be the time I can wash my window. I think I got a spray bottle in here. Um, I had a broken one, but Aaron, Aaron hooked me up with a new one. And uh, yeah, super liners in the field. Almost didn't make it out. There's a little nerve rack in there. Uh, I learned that if I drive over the piles and go out in the field and come back, it's way, way easier. So, two loads maybe? We will see. Oh yeah, he did the same thing. So if we come down over here, because the nerve wracking part is, what if that wagon slides off the road? It goes down in the ditch. This horse is not gonna keep that wagon from doing that. So if we do that, and then we drive back over these piles quickly, and then we go out there. Oh, there's smoke, it's a good one pass, and super liner is like half full. Okay, maybe a little bit more. Maybe a few more loads. Are you broken? <laughs> Alrighty, ready? That is better. Alrighty. Y'all wrapping another field up? This has been a good Monday afternoon, to be honest. But I'm sure glad Dylan is over here. We're kind of shuffling around doing different things. Um, otherwise, it would be a little slower pace. Just about 4 o'clock. We'll see what the last one looks like.
we got the 220 on here and it, it's working.
class load stuff. That's the thing about these older tractors. You can really put them in gear and go. Like those IVTs and everything else like that, the Command Pro that I saw in the mud. Like if you wanted to send it, it did not send it until it got up to speed. So if you're in the mud like that, trying to go back and forth, I'm sure there's some sensitivity to it where you can just dump it and go. Uh, I've not ran that Command Pro enough in those years. But nothing like you're locked in gear and you're going. A lot of golds over there, guys. That is pretty vibrant right there. Dale's just finishing up the bunk. And uh, are we done for the day or what's our plan? We haven't done much today, right? We just goofed off. He says it's dinner time probably. Hell of a good rainbow. Well, we are headed back to Aaron's. So good afternoon of it they are blowing feed into the silo up there there's actually some but two guys shoveling it so a lot of Amish right up through here a lot of Amish that's all Amish I believe this place is Amish too maybe it's not none of this was here well this was here the slurry store that they turned into a storage shed put a roof on it took some panels out of the side Backside, I believe the panels are missing. And uh, but a lot of Amish moved in. This is not Amish, actually Amish. I was mistaken there. That's a super line that moved there. But uh, a lot of Amish moved in. They got a loaded wagon of corn. They've been using their corn binder. I know. A while back, I didn't know the terminology. But uh, uh, quite a bit. It is there's some more Amish in there yeah it's amazing none of that stuff was here when I went to Cobble Skill I think one a few of them had just moved in it's it's pretty wild so gorgeous ride though trees are changing I do like fall but I hate fall at the same time because I know winter's coming Harvest time though is planting and harvest is just, yeah, to a farmer it's amazing. We made it back. So we're gonna take the silage truck home. Robert's there, I don't know if he's working on his car or what he's doing. But we uh, had a good day. Let me clean up my trash. And uh, we'll get going down the road. And uh, he said some packages showed up. So, there has been quite a few packages that have shown up that, uh, um, yeah, I got to throw some thank yous to some people because you guys are pretty awesome. Some fudge, um, some parts for the lawnmower. I should, I should throw that on and see if that fixes it when we get to all that stuff. I'll read the names and the thank you letters. And just saying, you guys are awesome. But imagine that it's raining some more. Oh, damn. I do have, what do I have in here? Oil pump somewhere. Why is the trash can flipped over? That's weird. What are you guys doing? Did you guys get into the garbage today? Was that you? Where's the other one? Where is the other one? The troublemaking one. Ah, oh, was it you? Tell me it was you. You can tell me, or you can wrap the other one out. Have you had a good day? Have you? Yeah, pretty good day. Yeah, go! I love dealers. <laughs> Where you been? Oh my god, yeah. Alrighty. We are going home, bud. That's gonna do it for today's video. Um, clearly I'm editing. I'm getting caught back up on editing. Emails, Carhartt order was over. I appreciate everybody um, who's repping the merch. It's it's pretty wild. So 
I do have something sitting on a trailer out in the yard there. So we got to see what that is. That will probably be in like five videos or something. I got one more day of dump carton. I don't know if I'm going to show you guys any of it because I didn't film much because I literally battled in the mud. And uh, I know uh, dump cart. We've done a lot of silage hauling and dump carton in the last month. And uh, but that is part of doing daily vlogs. You guys get to see really what goes on. Um, we're not sugarcoating anything. But alrighty, appreciate you guys watching along, liking, subscribing, being part of the channel, and uh, I'll see you guys on the next one.